This video will provide an overview of the purchasing functions in Dynamics NAV 2016. And I am currently assuming the role of purchasing agent for this overview. So let's go ahead and do a purchase order. And I'm gonna come back here into my, my actions here. Now I can do a purchase order here from right within my activity center here. I can click new purchase order. I can also do it from my ribbon up here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click new purchase order. And it wants to know what vendor I want to purchase from. And I typically buy this desk from Coolwood Technologies. So I'm gonna go ahead and just start typing in the vendor name. And, and NAV is going to tell me which vendor I need to pick based on what I've typed. And so it's telling me Coolwood Technologies. And when I hit the enter key, it just fills everything in for me. I can record some dates. Um, so when do I want this order to be placed? That sort of thing. I'm just going to accept the default date. If I look on the right, I can see information about my vendor. I can see some statistics, you know, what I've, what my balance is on my account. And remember, I can drill in on anything that's underlined. As well, I can look at the buying history for this particular vendor. So I can see the open purchase orders, for example, for uh, Coolwood Technologies. There are three sitting out there. We're just going to jump into our lines here and I can purchase an item. I can purchase straight to a GL account if I want. I can also purchase a fixed asset. For us today, we're just going to purchase an item and I want to buy that Sebastopol desk. So I'm just going to start typing. And just like I did with the vendor, it's making the recommendation. I'm just gonna hit the enter key. And remember, we want to order five because we're below our reorder point, so we wanna order five. So I'm gonna go ahead and say I want five. And you can see it's putting in my, my um, direct unit cost right from the item card. And so I can change that if I want to. And at this point, I'm gonna go ahead and um, release this purchase order. So now I've released this and I can go ahead and print it if I want to and send this out to my vendor. And that's what a purchase order would look like.